hey guys welcome to my youtube channel i'm happy to see you guys for another video we today we have belly here as a canvas and we are going to start off by moisturizing her skin i'm using the mac hyper real skin canvas balm and i'm just using a dual fiber brush to push that into her skin now i'm going to do the eyebrows i am taking a spoolie with some got to be glue on it and i am brushing that up into her hairs and then i am going to shape them once i've got the eyebrows brushed up to a nice bushiness i'll take the tip of my spoolie and i will kind of like carve the top out start giving the eyebrows some shape and then i'll start pressing it down for that laminated look Then once we are done with that, I am taking a makeup wipe and I'm cleaning around the brows, making sure that I get the got to be glue off of her forehead. Now it's time to fill her brows. I am taking my Simple Allure Brow Pencil in Ash Brown and I am just filling the edge up of her bottom eyebrow so that it kind of matches the other side one side is always thicker than the other but at least we have a shape that kind of looks similar and then once we glue in with concealer we can make sure that they both look as similar as i possibly can get them i like to use a flat concealer brush to do that you can use any flat concealer brush i've tried flat angle brushes definer brushes as long as it is can get super thin i'm able to get nice clean lines like this i like to take my time when doing eyebrows i don't like doing them in one swoop if anybody notices when doing your eyebrows or anybody else's eyebrows the skin moves so if you're doing it in one swipe or you're not really paying attention that the skin is moving the most problem that i see because i also do classes as well is that the tail looks thicker and that's a problem that everybody's having it's either that the tail is not winging out the way they want it to wing out the point is not pointing and it's really because you're not paying attention to that the skin is moving so if you are being light-handed you're not tugging on the skin and your brush is nice and sharp you're slowly moving across you're not moving the skin you're going to get the brow that you want you just have to stop tugging on the skin and realize that the skin does move when you are touching it so less tugging go a lot more slower and you'll start seeing where you need to add some concealer at like you'll add line like at the bottom when you first add your line you will start seeing okay this part of the line is not adding up with the rest of the line let me try to sketch it a little bit further and slowly move across and then once you get your bottom lines together you can start making them look a little bit similar Now I'm taking a small fluffy concealer brush and I am blending out the concealer on her eyebrow, pulling it down on her lids. I'm going to use some of this as a base. Then I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I am adding a heart on her outer corner. And then once I get the basic shape of that heart down, I'm gonna go in with some micellar water and a Q-tip and I'm going to kind of like clean it up a bit. But I am gonna go back and forth and fix the shape of the heart. I wanna make sure that it is big enough so when she opens up her eyes, you can still tell that it's a heart. And then with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, I am taking that on a brush this time and I am running it across the edges of this heart. I want the heart to kind of look like it's fading in the inside. Okay. 
And now I'm taking a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm blending out the eyeliner pencil. And I'm going to keep switching between this small smudger brush here and that flat eyeshadow brush to perfect the heart. And now we are ready for some eyeshadow. I'm taking Sugar Pills White Eyeshadow in Taco on another small smudger brush. And I'm going to work around the edges first. And then I'm going to blend the edges out into the middle trying to keep that faded look. Now I'm taking another eyeshadow brush. This is kind of like the same eyeshadow brush as last time, just a different brand. And I am going to blur out the edges so it doesn't look so harsh. And before we add all the jewels, I want to do the face first. So I am taking Black Opal's foundation stick in Hazelnut and I'm adding that around her face as her contour. And I'll also add that on her nose as well. I'm not going to bring it all the way up to her brows because I feel like the it'll be too much of a difference with all of that lightness on her eyes. Like I feel like I would that nose contour will stand out too much for me so i just want her nose to come through i don't want to lose her nose with the foundation and contour so i'm just going to add a little bit on her nose and then i am going to take light beige um Too faced concealer and add that in the inner corners of her eyes on her chin on her forehead in between her nose and then we'll go ahead and blend all of that out. I am going to use a Real Technique setting brush and I will pat her under eyes out. I don't like to do too much movement down there other than patting. I feel like that's the best way to blend out under eyes, foundation, contour. Patting is the best way to get this into the skin nicely without it caking up or clumping up. The only time that you'll see me swipe a little bit is maybe if something's stuck in a crease um, or if there's a line that's a little bit harder to blend out, I'll put a little bit more um, force on that with a little swipe, but I will go right back into trying to pat that back together. Now it's time to blend out the contour. I always kind of like blend out the contour in between the steps so it's just a little bit easier all at one once I apply the foundation. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and further blend those edges out now that we've kind of put the concealer under the eyes. It moves the contour down a bit. I just want to make sure that it's nice and blended, no harsh lines. So that's what you'll see me here fixing up the contour so once we put that foundation on it's going to go on flawlessly once we hit it with the foundation brush Now 
Now I'm taking NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. I'm mixing Valencia and Tahoe and I am applying that on the lower half of her cheeks and then I am going to carve out her eyebrows with this as well and then I will start blending everything in with a foundation brush. And once we finish adding all of the foundation on uh, with no additional product on this contour brush, I'm just going to bring back some of her contour since I felt like I lost some of the contour. I know it would have been good for some of my natural girls, but I do want her cheeks to be poking a bit here. So I'm bringing back some of that shade. And now that all my creams are done, I am taking my Real Techniques setting brush and I am blending out any creases. And then I will take some of my Huda Beauty baking powder in pound cake and I am going to add that under her eyes to start setting. I'll do the same for um, around her mouth, on her chin, on her forehead, and between her nose as well. I noticed that we did not set the lids, so I'm just going to take some of those creases out and take some of the Huda Beauty Pound Cake setting powder and add that right on top so that it keeps it from creasing. Then I'm going to set the rest of the face with Huda Beauty's baking powder in Blondie. And then I am going to take uh, Morphe's bronzer and Megastar and bronze her cheeks and her forehead. I believe this bronzer is discontinued and I've been finding like dupes for bronzers, at least for these Morphe bronzers because I love these bronzers. And I haven't really found one for Megastar yet. If y'all found a dupe for this or like a nice orangey kind of bronzer not a contour we want bronzer um let me know in the comments down below because i've been looking for one and i just don't like how cool toned everything is i'm i love the face to be warm depending if you are you know pink or neutral or warm if you're pink i always go for the like uh uh, benefit bronzer hula bronzer that one works perfect it's not too warm and it's not too cool so once you put it on someone that is light and fair tone with that pink undertone um it will look like a nice bronzer and for blush i'm using simple laura's blooming blush and cherry blossom and after the blush we are going to go and add the rhinestone I got the set of rhinestones from Amazon. I got the applicator from Amazon as well. I am putting these uh, rhinestones in like a order. Uh, the rhinestones come in a size of 1 to 10 and 10 being the smallest. So I'm using 10, 9, and 7 and I'm just placing them in like an uneven kind of order so that it gives it a different like a contrast. I've been liking how the small, medium, and large diamonds look against each other. And now that we are done with the frame, I am going to go around it and just add some rhinestones on the outside.
and now that we are done with the rhinestones i am going to add some sinful allure angelic lashes but i did double these these are a very natural pair of lashes but if you double them they are a little bit thicker but girl i love how they shape the eyes so we are using those today And we have to do mascara. I am using the Essence Princess Lash Mascara in a waterproof. Now I'm taking some of Ofra's Glaze Donut Highlighter and I'm adding that in her inner corners for some highlight. Now I'm going to be using Sinful Allure's Coconut Lip Liner and also the Lip Topper in Gotta Light. And then I'm going to press all the leftover powder in. Now I'm taking more of Ofra's highlighter in glazed donut and I'm just adding this on her cheekbones and on her nose. And then we're gonna go ahead and set the face and the look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This look came out so cute. I love the rhinestones. Let me know what you guys think of this look down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you do like my content. Also follow me on my social media at Centina Marie or Makeup by Centina. I'll leave Belly's Instagram right here on the screen. And yeah guys, until next time, see you later.